A verified insider leak has revealed Tesla's 2026 battery strategy, and it's already shaking the EV industry. Elon Musk is preparing three distinct battery types designed to power the upcoming $15,000 Model 2, each built for a specific goal – longer range, lower cost, or faster production. This marks Tesla's most strategic shift since the Model 3 era, aiming to make mass-market EVs truly scalable and profitable. Let's dive right in! It all started with a leak that caught even Tesla insiders off guard. In early quarter 3, 2025, several internal test documents quietly surfaced across the company's engineering divisions. At first, they looked routine. Updates, metrics, factory memos. But buried within them was something groundbreaking. Tesla isn't working on one battery for the Model 2. They're developing three three completely different battery types, each built for a distinct purpose, yet all designed to converge into one master strategy, making the $15,000 EV a profitable reality. And that's what makes this leak so powerful. It doesn't just reveal new chemistry, it exposes how Elon Musk plans to rebuild Tesla's entire cost and production model from the inside out. The first chemistry, called LFP+, is the cornerstone of Tesla's next expansion phase. It's based on lithium iron phosphate, a proven affordable material. But this version has been completely re-engineered. According to the leaked specs, Tesla added graphene-doped cathodes and solid electrolyte interlayers, closing the performance gap between low-cost LFP and high-end NMC cells. The results are remarkable. Energy cost per kilowatt hour under $56, the lowest ever achieved by any Western automaker. Cycle life exceeding 6,000 full charges, equal to roughly 1.5 million miles. Thermal stability improved by 40%, meaning fewer safety risks and longer durability. This battery isn't built for bragging rights, it's built for scale. Tesla plans to use it in standard Model 2 variants, cars made for dense urban markets, ride-sharing fleets, and budget-conscious drivers. And here's the subtle twist. Production won't happen in China like before. Instead, Giga Mexico will host the world's first dry electrode LFP Plus line, eliminating toxic solvents, reducing energy use, and cutting costs even further. That's how Tesla quietly reclaims control over both supply chain ethics and manufacturing independence. If LFP Plus is the workhorse, then the next battery, M95, is Tesla's spearhead. Designed for the Model 2 Performance Edition, this manganese-rich NCM blend is a calculated middle ground, powerful but still affordable. Unlike the cylindrical 4680S, M95 cells use a stacked layer architecture, boosting energy transfer efficiency by 17%. Pair that with a carbon-silicon composite anode, and the result is extraordinary. 10% to 80% charge in just 11 minutes on Tesla's Vi5 superchargers. Leaked data shows energy density, 315 watt-hours per kilogram range, around 420 miles per charge. Cobalt reduction, 75%. Cutting both cost and ethical controversy. This isn't just a battery upgrade, it's a statement. By reducing cobalt dependence and embracing manganese, Tesla is signaling a shift toward resource-neutral innovation a move that challenges China's current dominance in battery materials. It also positions Tesla to compete directly against BYD and CATL, not through subsidies or pricing wars, but through chemistry efficiency and manufacturing logic. And that's exactly how Musk wants it. Then comes the most advanced entry in the leak, a hybrid solid-state battery, 
currently under confidential testing at Giga Berlin's R&D wing. Tesla isn't chasing pure solid-state tech like Toyota. They're building something that can actually be produced at scale. This hybrid design blends a lithium metal anode with a semi-solid ceramic separator, striking a balance between innovation and practicality. Internal reports show energy density up to 450 watt-hours per kilogram, charging 80% in 9 minutes, cycle life 700,000 miles equivalent, production readiness late 2026. In simple terms, it's the bridge between today's batteries and the next era of energy storage. Even more interesting, the leak mentions Panasonic and Samsung SDI as silent collaborators in material development, hinting at a multinational supply chain built to bypass China's lithium dominance. Every decision in this plan carries a deeper layer, political, technical, and strategic all at once. To most companies, running three chemistries at once would be chaos. But for Musk, it's a masterstroke of flexibility. Tesla isn't betting on one breakthrough. It's building modular scalability, a system that can adjust to market conditions, material shortages, and cost targets in real time. LFP Plus powers the affordable global market. M95 drives mid-tier models for range and performance. Solid-state hybrid becomes the halo product that defines Tesla's edge. This multi-layered approach allows Tesla to stabilize production costs, avoid global bottlenecks, and maintain consistent margins, no matter how the economy shifts. According to leaked logistics reports, Tesla has already expanded cleanroom capacity by 48,000 square meters at Giga Berlin for multi-line integration. That means Tesla is preparing to produce all three battery types simultaneously by 2026. It's not chaos, it's control through complexity, something only Tesla's vertically integrated structure can handle. If this leak is accurate, the implications reach far beyond Tesla's lineup. For one, it breaks the price barrier. A $15,000 Tesla built with sub $60 per kilowatt hour batteries could instantly disrupt the entire EV market, pushing legacy automakers to either adapt or die. Secondly, Tesla's new battery lines use 48 volt solid state architecture, reducing copper weight by 18 pounds per vehicle and improving efficiency by nearly 30%. That's not just an engineering win, it's a manufacturing revolution, and it doesn't stop there. The LFP Plus and M95 lines reportedly eliminate fluorine-based binders, slashing chemical waste by 90%. That's how Tesla quietly positions itself not just as a tech leader, but as an environmental benchmark. While competitors chase flashy prototypes, Tesla's building an ecosystem where every watt Every atom and every dollar is optimized for scalability. There's a deeper story here, one few talk about. Tesla's shift to multi-chemistry production isn't just about innovation. It's about energy independence. With US and European policies tightening around supply chain transparency, Musk is designing Tesla to be resilient to global politics. If China limits lithium exports, Tesla can pivot to LFP+. If nickel prices spike, the M95 line covers the gap. If solid-state tech matures, Tesla's already halfway there. In other words, Tesla is building a self-adapting industrial organism, one that learns, pivots, and scales faster than any traditional automaker could dream of. Still, one question remains. Why reveal none of this publicly before the October 2025 earnings call? Some analysts believe Musk is preparing to shock the market with a full demo of the three-battery system. Not as prototypes, but as working units ready for production validation. Others think Tesla's silence is deliberate, meant to keep competitors guessing and investors hungry. 
But one thing is certain. This leak isn't random. It's a glimpse into Tesla's next transformation. Not just as a car company, but as a global energy infrastructure brand. Because once these batteries roll off the line, Tesla won't just control EV performance. It'll control the economics of clean transportation itself. So now the stage is set. Three chemistries. One global strategy. A $15,000 EV that could change how the world drives and how automakers compete. Which of these batteries do you think will define Tesla's future? The ultra-durable LFP+, Plus, the lightning-fast M95, or the hybrid solid state that bridges the next decade? Drop your take in the comments. Share your view, not just as a fan, but as someone watching history unfold in real time. Because when this plan goes live, the line between leak and reality might vanish overnight. And that's when the real disruption begins. And this is exactly why Tesla's 2026 battery plan is more than just another leak. It's a turning point. What we're witnessing isn't about one model or one company. It's about how energy, mobility, and technology are converging to shape the next decade of human progress. Three new battery types, one mission, to make clean, affordable energy accessible for everyone. If Tesla delivers on this vision, it could redefine not just the EV market, but how we power our cities, homes, and even future space missions. So, what do you think? Which battery will drive Tesla's next big leap? Share your thoughts in the comments, hit like if you learned something new, and make sure to subscribe to Tech Revolution and turn on notifications so you never miss our next deep dive into the future of technology and innovation. This is Tech Revolution, where insight meets impact, and the future is always within reach.